All right, so performance rundown for Quake. I will go through everything that I have. Nick, you should follow along as well, because I'm pretty sure you haven't done half the crap that I have to my game. We'll start with in-game settings and work our way down. If you guys think that, oh, well, you know, my game runs fine, just follow along and humor me and see if it's going to help. So... Alright, starting with in-game settings. Uh, you don't need this. Like, this is literally bullshit. FPS counter, literally bullshit, because you're going to use Rivetuner anyway. Uh, this, yes. This, yes. This is up to you. If you're still working on movement, then yeah, that's a good thing. Uh... These two, that's how I have mine set. This doesn't matter because I don't use a scroll wheel to change my weapons. So this is new. This is where you can change the metal HUD. You can disable it completely or do it audio only. I wish they could have it video only or like visual only without the audio, but... Uh, you can turn off the frag messages on the HUD now too. This is new with this patch. Uh, summary stats. Oh, this is the ones where you have like the XP on the side, on the left hand side when you get when you get a medal. It'll have like plus one this that and the other. You can turn that off too, and that's new. This is the one I was happiest about. This is the damn hit markers. Um, so as far as performance goes, Razor Chroma, turn this crap off. Door doesn't affect it either way, that's up to you. Going over to video settings. Just like this. Make sure it's full screen, not borderless windowed. Borderless in windowed causes input lag. Make sure you select your video card. Everything on low except for textures on ultra if you have a 970 or higher. Anti-aliasing medium because it makes people not jerk left right when the AD strafe it's smoother so it's easier to track FPS limit oh that should not have been on I think the uh, patch for that should I deleted my app data and that should not be on this in-game FPS counter is bugged as shit causes frame time problems confirm uh, let me save that they might have fixed that though, this patch. You need to delete your app data folder, wildcard. I'll link you. Delete your app data folder. Since a new patch came out. Yeah, turn that crap off, wildcard. Turn the indie game FPS counter off, or uh, FPS cap. Well, I mean, the, the counter's fine, the cap is bugged, but regardless, I will link you the, uh, the thread on how to delete your app data folder. So, since the new patch came out, I highly recommend anybody who hasn't done so already to delete your app data folder. This actually does work, and it will help. Um... Going back into the game, though. Do not use HRTF yet. I don't know if this is fixed or not, but it caused a lot of problems with people the last time it was enabled. I'm not trying it until I get confirmation from somebody. That's just personal. You can give it a go if you want to, but I wouldn't. Now, for the next part... Uh... I need to show my desktop for a second, so hold on. Alright. So, the next part you want to check is your actual Windows settings, and that's going to be here. I have Windows 10 settings. 
system, power and sleep, additional power settings, and make sure this is set to high performance. Optimized enough. So it makes your computer run in idle mode. Hey, Seek Memer, what's going on? Everybody's just joining and we're doing a performance rundown for Quake Champions because some of my viewers were having problems with their game. So I'm right in the middle of it if you want to follow along. Uh, as I was saying though, make sure you go to your power settings and select high performance. This is making a big difference because Quake Champions is forcing your CPU to get throttled. If you have it on balance, make sure this is set here. This very important. Uh, moving on from that, any kind of hardware acceleration you have, any at all, disable Discord hardware acceleration, Firefox hardware acceleration, Google Chrome, Steam, Spotify, whatever you run, turn all that crap off. All of it eats resources. Kill it with fire. So, there's that. Uh, on to, I don't have an AMD card, but I will show you my NVIDIA settings here. This actually means a lot. This right here. So if you open your NVIDIA control panel and you go to manage 3D settings and go to program settings, you want to specifically select, what? Yeah, there we go. Now it loaded. You want to specifically select quakechampions.exe and pretty much copy my settings because I've gone through this three or four times with Xander and with Stalker and with a whole bunch of other people, death and whatnot. And this is going to do something for you because what it does, this maximum pre-rendered frames, the power management and the uh, threaded optimization. These are the most important settings you need to change. Uh, threaded optimization, what that does is it causes some of the graphics stuff to be offloaded onto the CPU. The text is very misleading, but you don't want that. If you have a good GPU, you want it to work, so turn this crap off. Power management mode, make sure you have maximum performance. Maximum pre-rendered frames, one. Those three settings are the most important settings. The rest of the stuff, I'll scroll through somewhat slowly so you can see and if you want to clip this and run it back in slow-mo if I'm going too fast feel free to do so and that should cover all the Nvidia settings that you need make sure you hit apply close this uh, let me think the next thing. So, there's something called high performance event timing in Windows. Or high precision event timing. So, HPET, what this does is an old, it's an old leftover crap from pre, you know uh, single core dual core processors with multi core processors now it's useless however sometimes it gets enabled and some motherboards won't let you turn it off so you definitely want to make sure this is disabled if you go into the discord the link is down there click the quad picture and go into the new player help channel and check the pin messages and scroll through that for HPET and there's a complete how-to of how to disable that crap via the command prompt I used to have it on my desktop but 
So you open your command prompt and you're gonna check, uh, what was it slash use platform clock? Oh, there's there's a way to, to do it with no argument. I forgot the command without going to the Discord and checking it. But it, there's an entire section in the Discord about how to disable this. Also important. That made a big difference for me. The last thing I want to talk about is Nagel's algorithm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, this guide. This guide has a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll link it for you. This guide is going to show you something that's going to fix your netcode problems. It helped me a lot. It depends on the person and what internet service provider and all that. You go to Nagel's algorithm right here. Number 14. Disable this. Nagel's algorithm is some bullshit holdover from back when everybody had dial-up and basically what it does is it makes it so that it has to send it only checks less packets so if you disable it it will check as often as possible which is what you want for your games that's gonna make all your packets be sent as many times as your internet connection can handle it. So if you have broadband, there's no reason for you to have this on. None whatsoever. So, everything in that Mike Martin's guide, deleting the app data folder, NVIDIA settings, uh, that, and then uh, the Yukumo's thread is also linked in the Mike Martin's guide. You can, uh, find Yukumo's guide on the Bethesda forums, which I'm sure you've seen that before, but he doesn't go into certain things. So, if you combine that with this, with the other stuff, it's gonna help all your stuff. Ignore the pickmip. It doesn't help with performance, and ignore the colorblind support, because I mean, if you're not colorblind, you don't... Um... Yeah, I'm sure. But uh, the last thing I want to talk about is this. You want this program right here to cap your frame rate. The in-game FPS cap is buggy as shit. Causes frame time issues. Makes your game stutter and jitter. And do, 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 all. yeah, makes your game run like crap. So if you get rid of Tuner, and all you do is use it for the frame rate limit and your FPS counter in game. Which mine isn't working right today, I don't know why, but. I would highly recommend that you cap your frame rate in this game. The more consistent your frames are, the better it runs. I've tested this a whole lot. When you're, even if you have really high frame rate, if it's constantly fluctuating, it's going to have an effect on your aim. If you can get it at a high, consistent FPS, it definitely helps your game feel better. So, that's the last thing I want to cover. I have to run 125 because while I've been streaming since the gore patch, it doesn't uh, let me run 144 locked while streaming anymore. But if you're not streaming, this game should run like butter once you do everything that I've told you. So I hope all that will help everybody. If you haven't done certain things, definitely worth looking into. I had to do all this because of me streaming and my game was running like crap. So. There you go. Oh yeah, the soundtrack, definitely. Very nice. So once you have all the hardware acceleration crap disabled and the power settings right and make sure that you have your NVIDIA settings right and all that stuff, your game is going to run better.
I, I pretty much guarantee it. And the Nagel's algorithm disable is going to make your game run better because it's going to check more packets. Pretty much. Um, so, yeah. Um, 